Hello. So, as someone who makes book related videos on this fine website, I am very often asked to do a bookshelf tour. I'm asked so often on various different websites and I always just ignore those requests. Until now, kind of. I don't usually watch bookshelf tour videos and I never thought that I'd end up uploading one, but I thought I could kind of talk about my reasons and then show you my little humble collection. So when I watch other people's bookshelf tours or even when I'm just on Instagram and I see pictures of bookcases, I always get really, really intimidated by the sheer number of books that other people own, which sounds ridiculous and it is ridiculous, but um, kind of what you see or what you're about to see here is, is what you get. These are the books that I own and there really aren't that many of them and now I feel like I'm scrambling for excuses like I have still a couple of dozen books at my parents' house and there's also books that are in this house but they're just not on these shelves because I'm really bad at bringing my books back when I read them. Um, and also, and I think the most important points to make, number one, I read library books. I read books from my local library, which is this small, lovely little place, and from my university library, which is this huge, terrifying place. Um, and I read those and I take those back and it's a very good system. It's been serving the world well for many a year now because you don't know if you're going to like a book and books are expensive and so it's a place where you can take free books and give them back. Great idea, really great idea. Go library. And the second thing and probably the more important thing is that if I don't like a book that I've read or if I buy a book and I still haven't read it months later and I don't really want to read it, I just get rid of it. I take it to a charity shop, I give it to a family member, I give it to a friend. The book leaves my shelf and my life. I just find it a little strange whenever people, you know, pick out a book in videos and they say, oh, I hated this book because inside my head I'm just saying, well, why do you own it? I don't understand. I mean, I do understand because the thing that makes me so scared to show you my books and the reason that people like to own books is because we feel like it's an extension of our personality or it's a good sort of visual. I am a bookish person, here are my books. And I guess there's this niggling little fear that if I only have 20 books you'll think that I've only ever read those 20 books. We use a bookcase or a CD collection or lipsticks or whatever it may be and we kind of hold those very dear to us because they mean something about us. But I know deep down that I don't need to own hundreds of books to be bookish. And I also know that I'm young and I will own many books in the years to come, but the thing is right now it's that books are really expensive and I just can't afford to buy books. A lot of the books I review on my channel are sent to me by publishers, but even in those cases I could be sent like 10 books per month, but I can't read that many so I don't ask for that many review copies. And aside from that I generally only get new shiny books at Christmas or birthdays when I don't have to pay for them or if I have some sort of voucher or I buy books for university because those are compulsory and I can't avoid buying those. So that's where I'm at. Those are my qualms with doing a bookshelf tour because now I've just said that I don't own that many books, I own a really small amount, but lots of you are going to own less books than I do and so then you're going to be feeling that intimidation. So I'm just trying to completely erase that and put us all on a level playing field where it doesn't matter how many books you've read, it doesn't matter if you've read at all. That's only really as important as you want it to be to your life and to you. So, oh god, I hope that made some sort of sense. I'm gonna take my camera off the tripod and we're gonna start at the top and work our way down and I'll talk you through some of the books I own. I look forward to talking to you in the comments about the strange phenomenon that is bookshelf tours and if they make you feel kind of under read and like you need to buy more books even though you don't have any money. Uh. So this is my bookcase. I'd say it's about five feet tall. It's a little bit shorter than I am and it's from Ikea and it came with a matching desk which isn't mine. Um, I haven't tidied anything in the interests of being super honest with you. So at the very top we have a strange collection of um, misfit toys and our little bridegroom and bride rubber ducks because why the heck not. Um, so everything's arranged in alphabetical order although there's a few that are in the wrong place but that's okay. So on my top shelf I have these two little cocoa beans or whatever you want to call them, they look like many things. Um, we have some Daisy by Marc Jacobs, shouldn't really be here but it is anyway. Um, so the very first book on my shelf is The Five People You Meet in Heaven by Mitch Albom. Um, up here are a couple of new books that I got quite recently. We have How Many Miles to Babylon by Jennifer Johnson and The Happiness of Pursuit which I will review very soon. 
So there's all sorts of pretty books in here. I have The Great Gatsby and Tender is the Night. And then if we go down, moving down to the middle shelf, we have H through, I don't know, W? H through W. It ends with Daniel Wallace's Big Fish, which is one of my absolute favourite books. And yeah, there's just a nice little mix in here. I was recently sent this, which is The Birth of the Pill. Um, Pam McMillan sent it to me. I'm really excited to read that. I have a few Patrick Ness's, um, Cormac McCarthy, all, all good stuff. And then we move down to what is supposed to be my Irish shelf. Let, let me just start with the ones on top. I have a couple of Beat Generation books. Um, over here I have Richard Iowati's Iowati on Iowati, which I will review soon on this channel. I have two Flann O'Brien books. Um, he is an Irish author, so he could be down here, but I ran out of space. And then this was sent to me recently as well. So if I move this little bear, you can have a proper look. So it starts with Samuel Beckett, then I have some Maria Edgeworth, I have James Joyce, um, Sheridan Le Fanu, there's another one up there. Um, we have Dracula, of course, um, a couple of Oscar Wilde stuff, and then it finishes with WB Yeats, like any good Irish bookshelf should. Then I have kind of miscellaneous books that I've got squeezed in here. We have a couple of Harry Potter um, hardbacks, uh, a big Shakespeare thing, a Beatles song lyric book that I got for Christmas, a couple of like travel books. Um, Two of my copies of Jane Eyre down here, so I have this one which is currently pressing flowers inside it, which is strange but fitting in a way. Um, and in here then we have my very old 1893 editions of Jane Eyre, which I've talked about before. They're very lovely and in between books often, you can't really see, but in between books there's often like Christmas cards and notes from people. There you go. I think this bookcase holds about 20 books per shelf, but I've obviously overloaded them with a lot more than that. And, um, yeah. That was my bookcase. Those were my bookshelves. I hope that proved interesting. I hope it didn't stress you out that it's kind of messy. I know some people like things to be perfectly arranged in order. In an ideal world I'd probably buy a little mini bookcase for my bedroom in the future but I think a bigger part of me wants to just make this be all I need so I need to keep consistently getting rid of books that I'm not reading or that I don't want that don't hold any sort of sentimental pull. So that's my plan at the minute even though as a child I always wanted enough books that I'd have a ladder like Belle and Beauty and the Beast and I could swing along singing Song. Well that was a lot less painful than I thought it was going to be so I hope you enjoyed if you're one of the people who've asked me to do that in the past. The next thing you see on this channel will be three non-fiction book reviews that I'm going to try and upload within a few days of each other. I just need to finish reading the books and film them first but you can look forward to that. I hope you're having a wonderful day, have a nice weekend and I will see you very soon.